<laughs> Welcome What's to stu Studio Sessions at Channel 20. Jeffrey Gaines joining us right now, uh, playing HMAC on uh, Friday, September 9th. Uh, welcome to the studio. Well, thanks for having me. Man, that was awesome. What, what song been? was that? How you been? That's a song called Over and Over. song written by the fans. You know, yeah? I have, to give a, I have to give a lyrical credit to the fans. I was reading a bunch of, uh, you know, what would be fan mail. Now it's like on, uh, like, emails and a <laughs> little... You know, uh, TikToks and, and uh, all these little posts that come in all these different new formats. And uh, I was on the road and I was like, print, uh, print all that out, you know, because I mean, I still like to read, you know, the whole thing. So I uh, get the highlighter pen out and I see everybody's writing me the same thing. After they get through, like, loved your show. I'm back at work. Had a great time on the weekend. And now I'm back in my cubicle at work and I'm just playing that show over and over in my mind. I'd be like, Shh, there it is. Next person, no matter with different walk of life, different demographic, all this stuff, but like that show, man, I just keep playing it over and over, over and over, just kept occurring in all my uh, response letters to, uh, you know, the gigs that people go to. They, so I was like, yeah, use that over and over as a chorus. It's sort of uh, fan endorsed already. So. What do you think that? How do, how do you think the fans kind of get that connection to? Where, where is that connection come oh. from? Well. Um, the connection's always there. I think it's a human connection. It's op and, uh, I'm an open conduit. I'm just wide open. <laughs> and you could, uh, you could either be on the outside of expression or you could say, there it is. That's, that's... When I was a kid, I'd go out dancing and um, something about my expression to music was infectious. Uh, even then, people would be like, I want, I want to be on whatever he's on. That's just because like, you know, I'd go to the clubs and be the first one on the dance floor without a partner. And it just takes one person to get it going. And that's always generally been me. Um, I was just drinking water, 
Uh, the Metron, <laughs> remember this club called the Metron? I'd go in and get a pitcher of water, you know, and uh, a little cup, and I'd sit up on the speakers there and dance on, dance right in front of the speaker. My partner was the music, Ray Rossi was always spinning the coolest new rock, and just dancing to rock in the nighttime. People just want to to be connected to the source, and uh, you know, it's like so. It's like a, if you think about like a convection, like a current, you know. I'll, I'll touch you, then I'll touch you, you know what I mean? So I'm touching the source, and then, you know, people respond to that that way. You know, they just watch me do it. and He's at ease, so I'll be at ease. You know? From Harrisburg, right? Yeah, I grew up in Harrisburg, yeah. How did Harrisburg shape your musical career? <laughs> well, musical, musical career shaped in Harrisburg based on... Um, we didn't have a scene, necessarily. We had a pretty cool scene, very small, very uh, close-knit. But most of uh, my, my music was from the import section, you know. Most of my, my influences are English bands. Um, and so I think the, the growing up in Harrisburg, and I only recognize the, the value of growing up having a musical aspiration from Harrisburg versus when I went to New York and I met other musicians there. Um, so much of their, they had not really had to cultivate a yearning internally because like they step out their door and it's just they're bombarded with amusements and entertainments and opportunities to do this or to do that uh growing up in like i grew up in like oberlin swat Iver township chambers hill um you had to dream a dream and you might have to be the only one to cultivate it and and light your own fire and your desires were were, were deep deeper and richer because you wanted it if you wanted it you had to do the work I have so many more questions, but no one wants yeah. to hear me talk. They want yes. to hear you rock. So feel free. Get back right into it. Okay. Jeffrey Gaines, once again, playing HMAC on Friday, September 9th. He's here with us. Studio Sessions at Channel 20. It's getting hard to believe how anybody really can feel anyone else. Cause every day some ungodly thing goes astray and it weighs heavy on my heart. Where is relief? Yeah, what's the solution? Can somebody please pray for us all, yeah? What are we gonna do? What's this world coming to? Yeah, it's breaking my heart. It feels like this song all falling apart. Show me I'm wrong, please make me a liar. But don't wait too long, cause I'm losing my faith Cause everywhere, it's the same delusion and Some salad declares that our kingdom must fall Show me the way to resolution Put weapons away and save us all, yeah, yeah what are we gonna do? Yeah, what's this world coming to? Yeah, it's breaking my heart. Feels like this song all falling apart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like this song, oh, 
falling apart Yeah Yes All right Summer's over, kids I hope you got the loving in I hope you had some fun Back to school Fireflies lit the night I was holding you so tight Nothing else could feel so right Felt like falling I took your breath into my lungs You and I became one There ain't no place we can run From this calling And I accept an unexpected surprise and I am thankful for what you're bringing to my life, yeah. Well, tonight, gonna love you like there ain't no tomorrow, yeah. Well, tonight, gonna love you down in Firefly Hollow, yeah. Thunder crashes above, below flashes of love Cast a glimpse on what's to come, your body trembling Summer symphony is sound, playing soft in the background But we get lost in what we found, what are we assembling? And I adventurously go where I'm led Listening only to my heart and not my head Yeah Well tonight Gonna love you like there ain't no tomorrow Yeah Well tonight Gonna love you down the firefly hollow Yeah Adventurously go where I live Listening only to my heart And not my head Yeah Well tonight Gonna love you like there ain't no tomorrow Yeah Well tonight Gonna love you down in Firefly Tonight, gonna love you like there ain't no tomorrow. Yeah. Well, tonight, gonna love you down in Firefly Hollow. Yeah, yeah. got to ask you because yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I close my eyes and, and I'm, I'm listening to this, yeah. try, trying to get kind of lost in it all. And, and I mean this only as a compliment. Uh -huh. I hear a little bit of Tom Petty, a little bit of Black Crows. Was, who are your influences when it comes to, you know, when you started back in the early 90s? Well, uh, Tom Petty was the first tour I went on, big. That's oh, huge. Tom Petty in uh, <laughs> 1992. So I uh, went from... Um, Peak Petty. Yeah, Peak Petty. Uh, it was the uh, Into the Great Wide Open tour. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Got some stories from that, I'm sure. Yeah, lovely, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, you try to stay, you know, you keep the stories to a minimum. Sure. Because, you know, you want to stay on tour. <laughs> you know, you let the stories, let, 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 let the established acts uh, get the stories, you know, and all that stuff. I'm just really doing what I'm told, being a good boy, showing up. Standing there, uh, entertaining the 10,000 people that didn't come to see me, 
Do you know what I mean? Like walking out and confronting a group of people, like uh, the lights go down and everybody's like, all right, the concert, that's not Tom Petty. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it takes a minute and then you have to like earn them from the ground up. And uh, when you make that happen in, you know, 35 minutes, that's pretty great. Um, uh, one of the better stories was, um, there's so many stories, but again, that's 1992. It's very hard to rec recall all of it. But one uh, big moment for me was uh, watching Robert Plant. Uh, and we were playing two nights in Birmingham, England, and uh, Robert Plant was watching me work the crowd. And uh, from one front man to, uh, to another, it was just pretty great to have him standing there going, how's this guy with one guitar making this work? Um, so that was cool. Did he say anything to you afterwards? Uh, we, we, you know, we had our pleasant nods and... Uh, what do you say? You know, I'm walking off the stage, <laughs> and um, what do you say to one of the greatest hey! men of all well, time? <laughs> first of all, like I'm pretty reactive. You know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm trying to keep it all together. But then, you know, you're just walking like you do any other night. You get your stuff off the stage, and you're walking back to your dressing room, and then you just go, "Hey!" You know, when you see him, and he's just Bobby. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just shout out and be like, "Wow, that's you know," and he's like, "That's." you know, good job. Basically, if you don't know a guy, he doesn't know me from, I was just the guy there that evening and he thought it was pretty neat, but we did not go uh, back to a pub and, and, and greet, you know, it's just yeah, more right. like mutual respect hellos and stuff like that, things that you pass in the hall, but. Uh, so who would you say were, were your influences growing up? My 92, first self-titled album. Yeah, my influences were, um, uh, there's this like sort of, there's this guy, Joe Jackson, I yep. appreciated growing up uh, uh, modeling some, some at least ideas. I don't know if any of this stuff made itself to my made it to my music, but I enjoyed Elvis Costello and I enjoyed Graham Parker and The Rumor. Um, I uh, enjoyed Nick Lowe and uh, Joe Jackson and uh, Graham Parker and Elvis Costello, David Bowie. So all these English guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I mean, I was singing before that. Bef like I was into music before my influences, if you know what I mean. Like. Um, Brother Louie by The Stories, uh, uh, All Right Now by Free. So mm -hmm. I'm just following vocalists, you know. I find that in the 60s, in the 70s, I'm in the back of this, you know, a parent's station wagon, and you're just hearing the music that every event, every event has music in it, you know. For me to, to do music is not even really a departure from any aspect of my life because you're growing up, all the commercials have a, all your cartoons have a song. The banana splits come on with an amazing song. Um, you know, you rush home from school to watch the monkeys. You know, everything's like music. The, par the Partridge Family, the Brady Bunch even had a band. Uh, um, you know, uh, the Cosby Kids, <laughs> you know, Fat Albert had a band. <laughs> they made instruments out of the things they found in the junkyard. Um, in, um, in the Americas, I don't even think uh, the school students know the alphabet without it being put into a song. So you say, man, when I went to, I went to kindergarten, we started singing songs to, to learn lessons and messages. So music and song is instrumental and in, in just a part of the society that I was growing up in. Every jingle and television ad, I remember how shows came on by the song. I don't remember the show, but I love that song. You know, I did not watch Maud, but I love the, the vocal in the <laughs> song. Uh, I love Maud coming on, you know, and you just go, man, I'm in the music, I think, you know, and this is before you're out of before you're out of your single digits. So by nine, I know I want to do this. Um, but uh, I got a guitar in 79. So my influences were the rock that was happening in 79, kind of new wave. And uh, yes, Tom Petty falls into this uh, category where he would uh, wear a skinny tie, play a Rickenbacker guitar, and get in a New Wave magazine. But I don't think that those guys considered themselves that. But the mu music of the late 70s. And along the way, Jeffrey Gaines <laughs> found yourself, yeah. uh, found the music that suits you. And, uh, uh, and, and again, we really appreciate you coming by yeah. The studio. I love studio. coming by. I love coming to Harrisburg. Studio sessions at Channel 20. How often do you get back in town? I sneak in and out. Um, I sneak in and out quite a lot. Um, you have a yeah, particular place you, you need to hit up when you uh, come into town? <laughs> no. All the places have changed. Sure. <laughs> sure. But I like the changes that have been made. I just I realize that all the changes that have been made are for a new group of people. 
You know, like you got to make way for the young folks. And I drive by the clubs and say, that was never a club. And that was never a club. And that place is packed. And <laughs> I can't go in there now. I missed it. You know what I mean? Like, you ever want to go back to, was, do you ever want to go back to what you did when you were younger and just, uh, you know, just be the one that's dancing uh, and, and be the conduit of energy for other people? Yeah, I do. I wish I could do that because I think that thing really happened too. That was a Harrisburg thing. Uh, I think uh, the audiences in the Berg get to enjoy and express themselves better than other cities do. Because, I mean, I'll go see bands on tour, um, and I'll get, you know, because I got to, you, you accumulate um, relationships sure. through your life of doing this. And uh, so there's a lot of promoters who will find themselves kind enough to put me on the list for some shows. So if it's a band I like, I say, you know, go see The Cult or something like that. So uh, The Cult's on tour, and I'll see them in... In a, in, a, in, a, in a market around here, and the people really act correct, like they rock and roll. Harrisburg shows up and always expresses themselves, people dancing and, and getting involved. It has been a real thrill having uh, you in here, national recording artist Jeffrey Gaines, uh, who's going to be playing at HMAC on Friday, September 9th. Uh, he's going to play a couple more uh, tunes uh, for us uh, right now. Two, three, and... Uh... Won't come around your place no more. I won't be outside your bedroom door. I won't burn your playhouse down. I never wanna see you wear a frown. Making sure everything's how you like. Making sure that you feel oh. Feel all right, yeah, yeah. So I go quietly into the night, to the dark place deep down out of sight. I watch you thrive while I fall from view. You don't know about this work I do, making sure everything's how you like. Making sure that you feel all right That you feel all right, yeah All right Be fine, go on and start anew. Leave me to tidy up loose ends for you. I stand here until the embers die and bury them deep down so you may fly. Making sure everything's how you like. Making sure that you feel all right. you feel all right? Do you feel all right? Yeah. Do you feel all right? Feel all right. Jeffrey Gaines, got time for one more song before we uh, get out of here. Where can people find you on social media? Oh, I'm everywhere. Um, I'm on social media. It's jeffreygaines.com and Jeffrey G Music on Instagram and Jeffrey Gaines Official on Facebook. Like, share, <laughs> and follow. Playing at um, HMAC on Friday night, September 9th. Yes, I am. Play us out the right way, sir. All right. Thanks for having me, everybody. I 
So it's hard to count on anything Cause no one knows just what tomorrow brings Still here we are, we've shared so many years We've come this far, there ain't nothing to fear You will see Sometimes bring you pain Believe me, girl, it's gonna be okay You ask me how it is that I'm so sure Cause with every day I love you more well, You will see it You and me will always be to be true But I devote my whole life to you And if my life should end my love goes on And you will always have this song You will see it You and me will always be Yeah You will see it and me 